Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Renee, and today I have a story time for y'all. I'm going to tell you about the story that I got caught shoplifting. This is a serious matter, and it is meant for enjoyment, but it does not mean go shoplift. Okay, so I was about 14 years old. I was in the ninth grade, and for some reason, I had missed school and had went to work with my aunt, who works at Walmart. And so she worked in a shoe part and you know how they have that bench back there where you try on shoes i had to sit there from seven to three so you know all kind of thoughts going in my head like hmm you know what can i do to spice up this day and you know one thing that y'all i just think i'm so hung because i got my hair flat iron <laughs> anyway one thing that came to mind was you know hmm makeup so anyway but i'm gonna get back to that later okay so anyway um, I was there from 7 to 3 with my aunt, and we were, you know, bored. I was bored, you know. She over here in the shoe department, stocking up shoes and stuff, you know. And then I don't know what else she have to do. And I'm over here. And then, and then she had, like, multiple other departments that she would go to. So, and I would be in the shoe department looking crazy. Like, I'm from 7 to 3, like, I'm confused about what size shoe um, I wear for eight hours so you know I'm sitting there bored you know I don't got all the magazines you know just 14 J14 or whatever it was and um, Cosmo and all these different kind of magazines I'm reading them you know living life at Walmart and then occasionally you know I got up and walked around the store I went to the makeup section because I'm a girly girl well no well I was really girly girl back then and so I went to the makeup section and you know I started looking at this really nice expensive makeup that I really wanted and so I got about one o'clock you know I'm like huh oh, we finna go soon so, you know, I'm like, really don't matter, you know, we finna go soon, so if I take something, I'm not gonna get caught, because we finna go, they can't do nothing, you know, when I leave, blase, blase. Okay, so, we go, hmm, I think, I don't know what I was doing, but I had left, I didn't take nothing yet, so I went back to my aunties, like, it was cool, like, I ain't plotting, you know, this devious plan that's gonna get me caught, anyway, so I go back to my aunties, I'm thinking, you know, trying to get myself hyped up, you know, we finna execute this plan correctly, I need to know, you know, which way to walk, how to walk, to avoid the cameras and stuff like that, and so, I... Um, I, y'all, I be forgetting, it's been nine years, no, I mean, it was, I don't even know how long it's been, but it's been since the ninth grade that I'm telling this story, and I'm a senior in college, so that's why I have to keep stopping, because I keep forgetting the story, but anyway, so, you know, I done went back to my auntie, you know, because I'm scheming, trying to think of a master plan, and then I decide to go back to the makeup section, you know, and execute this plan. And so I'm in a section, you know, I done picked out these really cute eyeshadows that they have. And, you know, it was the ones that the eyeshadow supposed to like bring your eyes out and pop. I think it was L'Oreal or something like that. Anyway, I was I picked out the eyeshadow that I wanted, you know, and I put it in my pocket, you know, and I'm like, you know, they not watching these cameras, they probably don't care. So I went back, um, before I went back to my auntie, I, you know, I was stopping talking to, you know, other people who was working there. And so I ended up going back and sitting close to my auntie, but not that close. Like I was, like, she, you know, she in shoe department and stuff like that around and I like went by the food department for some reason. Anyway, I went and sat on the bench over there, and um, this man sat next to me, and I'm like, oh, this is Jehovah's Witness, about to give me this pamphlet, I don't want, I ain't got time for this pamphlet that he finna try, he finna read me a scripture, I ain't got time, I don't have no money to donate, nothing like that, and so, I'm like, I'm like, oh, what he want, so then he said, you know, we have you on camera stealing, bruh almost died <laughs> he oh he was like you know we have young camera stealing and i want you to return that those three um eyeshadows that you took and so i was like bruh so 
I handed him the three eyeshadows and he was like, you know, if you would have left, then this would have been the police's situation or something like that. So I guess if you leave Walmart, then they um, contact the police with your license place number or something. I don't know. Anyway, so he said, you know, who are you here with? And I, and I was like, you know, my aunt, she works here. That's who I'm here with. I came t with her today. You know, I didn't have school for some reason. And so... Um, you know, he was like, you know, I'm going to go talk to her. And so I went and I, well, I didn't go anywhere. I sat there for a little bit because, you know, I was shame. I just got busted out of my ceiling. I was embarrassed. So I sat there and I sat there for about 30, 40 minutes. And, um, dang. and my auntie came up, you know. What, what is the matter with you? Why would you do this at my job? You know, I could have got fired. This is so, I don't know, so whatever. And so she sent me home early with one of her friends, and they dropped me off at her house. I had to sit there alone and look crazy. And I want to say that's it. I mean, now I look at it. And I'm just like, bruh, that's so embarrassing. But, I mean, it really happened, and it is really embarrassing. We learn an experience because after that, you know, I'm like, you know, I need to redeem myself. So, I had went to Dollar General, and I was like, you know, I need to steal me some candy or something and not get caught because I just got caught recently. So, I went to Dollar General, and I, like, got, like, I don't even remember, but I know I like, I think it was some hair products and some candy. And I'm like, you know, yes, I got it. Nobody saw me. I'm in an aisle with no camera. And just as I was about to leave, my conscience hit me and told me to go put it back. So, you know what I did? I went and put it back. And ever since then, my conscience has got stronger like the other, like, I mean, ever since then, I cannot take a thing without, I mean, not that I want to take anything, but if I wanted to, I couldn't. So, I mean, it was a learning experience. It was definitely embarrassing, and I'm very grateful that it happened because, you know, if it hadn't, you know, I probably would have still went to jail or something. So, I'm very thankful, you know, no repercussions you know I didn't have my face plastered on the wall or anything like that my auntie got to keep her job and stuff like that so I'm very thankful and um it was I don't know it was just a learning experience that is crazy but it's very true and um, I will never ever try to skip, steal anything ever again but I've never ever tried after like Dollar General when I put it back but like yeah do not steal it is in the commandments too so don't do that but it is very crucial that you listen listen to your conscience because I don't know maybe if I would have went or walked out of Dollar General that would have been my next biggest bust and I would have been embarrassed so, yeah, but that's my story time. By the time that I got caught shoplifting, if you have similar stories, let me know, you know, what happened to you. Did you go through with it? Did you put the stuff back or something like that? Let me know your story. I share mine. It is very embarrassing, and I never, ever even told anybody because it's embarrassing. I've changed, but I thought that it would be very interesting. So, I will see y'all next time.